Welcome back to Exploring Whiskeys. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. And today is a special treat for us. <laughs> it's from our excursion to the... Yes. So one, when we were at the Whiskey Live event, we actually got to sample this. Mm -hmm. Two, when we went up to the Kentucky Bourbon Festival, we went to the Barstown Distillery and... In the oh, Kevin walks in, yeah. he's like, "Yes!" In the um, the shop there, because it's a it's a distillery only release, is still a handful at that mm -hmm. time. I don't know. There's probably like forty ish. They sell for a Cubans. lot of bottles in there. Yeah, they do. Yeah, there's a lot of bottles there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I this is the I wish Hill was like that, right? Yeah, all they had was standard like regular stuff. The this is one of the um, collaboration series. Uh, for Coolin is an Irish whiskey. Mm -hmm. So this is just like everything else Barstown do, does, do, does. does. This is a blend of four whiskeys. There is two Kentucky bourbons, mm -hmm. a Tennessee whiskey, and an Gosh. Irish whiskey. Okay, so uh, I thought it was on the side of the bottle. It's not, so I pulled it up on their website. It is 36% Tennessee 17-year-old whiskey. And it is from Cascade, uh, Cascade, Cascade Hollow, Hollow, so it is Dickel. Dickel. It's 24% 12-year-old Kentucky whiskey. I don't know which one's which. Uh, it, it's either Beam or Heaven Hill. But the other one is 12-year-old Kentucky bourbon, 20%. So either way. Um, yeah. That's weird. I've never heard of Beam or Heaven Hill being blended yeah. into something for them. Yeah. And then it is 20% Irish whiskey that is 21 years old. Now, the color just. For Kulin, they've only been around for like 10 years. <laughs> so it is actually a distillery that's just outside of like the Dublin area. Okay. It's not uh, Middleton. They actually so they one of the newer ones. That they we started. They yeah. it used to exist. It closed down. They started it back up. So that is the cool part with this one. Uh, There's a lot of that going over here too. Yeah. Shut down. Shut down. Coming Someone, back. Someone's yep. reviving it. Can we get a thumbs up for cracking open this bottle? All right. Now, this is a neck bore, and I have to guess this probably opens up some. That's a lot of age to be just shoved into a bottle. Mm -hmm. What I'm really interested in Ooh. is to see which, which one shows up the most. Because I don't remember from Whiskey Live. It was such a small sample, and it wasn't a great like sampling glass. The initial for me? Yeah? Beam. You get the nutty note? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Initial. 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 It's just a quick. Because that's it. That's the quick, kicker. Quick so, swipe. Quick so swipe. it's not a huge. It's not heavy, heavy proofed. It is uh, 1024 on the proof. So it's not heavy proofed. And the funk. The, the, the little dickel funk. Uh -huh. Little minerality. Outside the power suggestion. What do you get? I get it's really sweet. Minerality is probably the first note I get. I'm not getting the peanut off the nose. I'm sure it's there, but I'm also getting like I'm getting proof Irish now, whiskey sweetness. Proof. I, I like I get some of that malty sweetness. Yeah, I get the malt. Minerality, a little bit of peanut, and an Irish whiskey finish. I don't get the Irish whiskey finish. You're not getting the Irish whiskey finish. No. There is a uh, the beam is yeah strong. The beam is strong with this one. <laughs> I'm shocked. I've never heard them sort out. Sort. Well, yeah. I mean, Bard Sound does crazy things. I mean, they do. Well, they work with know, everyone, you know. Let me read. Not going to completely retract that statement, but I'm going to back it up a little bit. There was that the one uh, Booker's batch that they did not like. Wonder what they did with that. That that they had to, they had to <laughs> okay, kick they right. had to kick to somebody. What was it? Twenty twenty or twenty twenty one? Where they only did three releases of yeah. Booker's. Yeah. And there's and there's there has I'm sure every distiller goes so there's got to be barrels that just but don't. that's not twelve year old. 
Most of the time, Booker's a six to seven. This is that somebody bought old Beam. Yeah. To blend into this. It's an interesting mix. I. Those two are not like Knob Creek and Dickel are not tops on your list. No, no. From a flavor of a palate. Right. Not at all. No, I, really, I don't like a super, that super heavy peanut note from Knob Creek. Right. It's too much. I for enjoy me. it. There's a lot of people that really love it. It's just too much. The higher end Dickel stuff, I enjoy that too. Most, yeah, higher end Dickel stuff, like the, the bottom of mine, the, the 11 and 13 year old ones, Even they're the delicious. Bur- the bourbon they did. Yes, that awesome. bourbon was actually really, really good. And that was what, eight year old bourbon? Mm-hmm. That's just crazy that this is like 12 year old. Because well. it's 17, no, 17 year old Dickel. And 12-year-old Heaven Hill and Knob. Well, Dickel does, they have a 12, they have a 15 too. So yeah, just a little bit. A little bit older than that. A little bit older. Now, that the, is such the a, aftertaste I'm getting is Irish whiskey. Irish whiskey. Okay. Yeah, the aftertaste. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get anything on the nose or across the palate from an Irish whiskey standpoint. It's just the, the lingering aftertaste. And, but it's such a weird, crazy, you're, you're blending. And it's... Not perfect, but it's kind of four. They're not exactly a third, of, you know, a fourth, a fourth, and a fourth, right? I, I picture them sitting in their lab, kind of like I am in my kitchen when I used to make poor man's pappy. Yeah. Ooh, no, that's a little bit more, a yeah. little bit more, a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like you can almost smell the pieces, and that's weird to me. Mm-hmm. How do you bottle it but still smell? Oh, there's a little bit of like a peanut note from a. Beam knob creek type note. There's a little bit of a minerality, like dick, like it's just weird that you can pull that out. Now Heaven Hill, I can't say that I get a Heaven Hill note other than I'm thinking of like the Evan Williams and the like kind of like a that caramely brown sugar note that Evan Williams has mm-hmm. with a little bit of a bite. And that's kind of in here too. <laughs> it's growing on me. With each taste. That is, it's just weird. All right. I go. like it. Throw some I really like it. It's just weird. There should be a lot of oil on this guy to open up and, uh, yeah, should be a lot of oil. You get more ethanol in the nose now. Yeah. Yeah. It's off gassing a little bit. It's almost like you got to wait for a second to, to get it to open up just a touch more. It really has like a blend of a, like that, a bourbon and Irish note. It's just uh-huh. kind of coming through on the nose. Like that honey malty note that you get from Irish is is there. And I never get that. Mostly never get that from bourbons. Usually it comes through the wood notes, mm-hmm. the, the caramels and the, the I can see that. sugar notes, the wood sugars. But there's there's a malty honey note mm-hmm. that was a lot of dickle. A lot of minerality on that guy. We want the funk. <laughs> it's a lot Gotta of have that funk. Mineral funkiness, yeah. A little bit of cinnamon. I'm gonna say maybe that I'm gonna attribute that to Beam. <laughs> mm-hmm. I just yeah, you kind of have those uh, what you expect from certain distilleries, right? I was expecting it to be better with water. I don't think it's better. I no, think it was it better neat. No, it's better without the water. I think it was much better neat. It's still an, an enjoyable pour, though. Oh, there's nothing wrong with it with the water. No, not at all. But I think neat had a. I don't. It was just weird. Again, you could just pick up like pieces of the four, the four different whiskeys. What I really would be interested in is I'd I'd love to try for Coolin, like their if their own whiskey mm-hmm. and what how that. Because that's going to be, you would think, that's the one that's going to get wiped out by. Well, yeah, it's probably 80 proof. It's probably honey, vanilla. Maybe a fruit. A two, of, two sweet flavor, malt cereals. Two flavors are going to get drowned out. By yeah, they're just going to get drowned cinnamon, out by a whole bunch of. Cinnamon and funk. Yeah, yeah. Peanut, the mineral, cinnamon, the mineral funk. funk. Generally speaking, it's the softer Irish whiskey is a little bit more of a nuanced flavor profile than the aggressiveness that bourbons tend to be. It's nice. Again, neat is 
the way I would recommend. Mm -hmm. I, I think you agree on that one. Definitely, a, this is a neat. I wouldn't even put over ice. I think ice would. I think it would dull it out. It would take it to another level that we probably wouldn't enjoy. Yeah, it would just dull it out. Yeah. And I, I kind of like the fact that it. It's got like weird little complexities. Well, again, we've never been disappointed in this come out of bar sound. Really not. The, the experimentation they've got up there is. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Everything that they're doing, their whole discovery series where they're doing the same thing. They're blending them, but they, they don't, usually don't finish those. The fusion is some of theirs with some other stuff. Their collaboration series has been really good. My biggest beef is the price. Right. They are very expensive. This one, I don't remember paying this, <laughs> but I was also in a... Oh, I was in a buying mood. Yeah, that's the right way to say it. You had, so, you had a budget for the weekend. I did have a budget, and I was under the budget for the weekend Yes, for buying whiskey. Maybe not for drinking whiskey, but that's a whole different budget, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is a $200 bottle. It's not worth 200 bucks. It's good. I would go like 150 If it were around the, the other collaborations, like the bars, the... Uh, the founders or the plantation 150 160 absolutely for some reason i thought it was like 189 i thought it was 190 or something like that you're, i could be you're off not far off there, it's buddy. not that far off but <laughs> like this is what their website listed as if you come into their store so i i'm pretty sure i paid 200 dollars for this it's still really good but after that we actually hung around we had a cocktail it's a again, really good that cocktail. place is a, is a nice to, again we've said it before it's like an they want to create it like a like a Napa Napa experience. Valley experience. Napa Valley experience. Yep. It is a really yes. top notch distillery. You can have lunch there. You can just have cocktails inside. They have a bar outside. Like it is yeah. top notch. It is a it is a great place if you're in anywhere near the Bardstown mm -hmm. area, go to this distillery. They their cocktails are great. We got Three, four different cocktails, and they're all all different, all really good, mm -hmm. and all like very different basis as to what yep. the whiskey was. They have a huge bar with it's not just their whiskey. They probably have they've got everything, two, three hundred bottles everything. of different whiskeys up there. So that it is a really nice spot to hit up. No, I mean just the property in general. Even the the Rick houses look cool. Yeah, they're everything's very new. Yeah. That's that's the other kicker to that is everything's very modern. It's not all don't have that black fungus stuff going on not all yet. over not it. Not yet. Not yet. I'm sure. Yeah, it'll get there with the angel share, but no, definitely worth stopping in. I mean, two hundred dollars probably too much, but twelve, seventeen, and twenty-one year old whiskey, maybe. You know, like I, I kind of get why it's so expensive. I guess. Yep. Yeah. Well, anxious to see what comes next. I know, right? There'll obviously plenty be plenty more. Yeah. Coming out of here. There was a, I think it's a French, I don't know if it's a French wine finished one, the second, it's the second release of the same French wine barrel, mm -hmm. but they did something different. So probably different whiskey that they used in it, mm -hmm. but I, I don't know. I think that's also a distillery release and I don't know next time I'm going to be up in Bardstown, at least not until next September. You know what? There's going to be something even better by the time we go back. Probably. Yeah. Good possibility. Yep. They yep. keep making more. Mm hmm No, this is a, it's a fun distillery to follow. Yeah. This, how creative they are. And, you know, if you find some kind of limited release in your area, you absolutely should. Grab it. Grab it. Splurge. Go in with a buddy on it. Definitely worth, definitely worth picking up. Exactly. And if you, like we said before, if you're in the Bardstown area. Stop there. Definitely worth so a, much stopping in for an hour. Take in the property, have a cocktail, maybe grab a bite to eat. Yeah. pick up a bottle, and then get back on the road. Well, we hope you enjoyed this this review. If you did, we encourage you. Why do I keep saying encourage? We really like the support of the channel. We encourage you to hit that like button at the bottom of the screen. We encourage you to subscribe as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> subscribe to the channel. We're trying to grow. Uh, we're trying to continue to share us exploring uh, almost every whiskey we can get our hands on. I yeah, mean, if, that's all we're trying to do. We're trying to try different things. Uh, especially following distilleries that are doing different things. Yeah, let us know what your favorite Bardstown release yeah, is. Which, yeah, which Fusion series or... Best, worst. 
yeah. in the middle. Discovery or collaborative. Yeah, there's so many different we things. We haven't done we it, love we'd love it. to track it down and do it and do it on the show. Absolutely. So, well, we appreciate you watching this review and I guess we look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Yeah. Yeah, Cheers. see you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.